I'm Chase Briscoe, driver number 14 Ford Mustang for Stuart Haas Racing, and you're watching William Blackwell on YouTube. When the checker flag flew for the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series season, all the attention was on Ryan Blaney, Ross Chastain, and Kevin Harvick. Chastain won the race in Phoenix. Ryan Blaney won the darn championship. And Kevin Harvick, a previous champ in the sport and very, very popular driver in the sport, was in his final start. And uh, it was a big moment after the race. And quite frankly, nobody talks about Eric Amarola. Eric Amarola was entering his final race with Stuart Haas Racing in the 10 car. A lot of people speculated throughout the season that he was going to retire and call it quits after he announced his potential retirement at the end of the 2022 season, which he decided to come back for another year. It seems like that's going to happen again, but he's going to race in a different series. The series he's going to be racing in is going to be in the Xfinity Series. And a lot of people might be saying, hey, William, you're getting a little ahead of yourself. Is he really going to do that? Well, I can practically confirm that he is going to be racing because this past week, when the Washington Commanders were playing at home against the Miami Dolphins, Christopher Bell was there. But who was also with him? Eric Amarola. And those two drivers were introduced to some top personnel from the Washington Commanders from Joe Gibbs himself, saying these are his two drivers and they're racing in so-and-so series. So Eric Amarola going to race part-time in the Xfinity Series for Joe Gibbs Racing. I believe it's going to be in the 18 car. The 20 is going to be Chandler Smith. The 19, I would like to say, is going to be Sheldon Creed, maybe Ryan Turex, but the 54 is also an option, so time will tell there. Uh, but please like and subscribe.